Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So, I'm going to shoot a quick video here on a cool alternative for a high voltage transformer for a large RF tube linear amplifier. Okay, I think this is the first time I've... This will probably be the first one on YouTube, and I've never heard of anyone else doing this, but I'm sure someone's done it. But I'm going to go over why I chose to do it. So... I've been using these transformers for a long time. I purchased them from TNR Electric. They custom wind them to whatever voltage you want. Brand new copper windings. You know, I've seen other people, they pull the transformer out of the oil, and it's a big no-no. I made another video on why you don't want to do that. So this is still in the oil, and I never utilized it to its full potential. It's 75 kVA, it's huge for what it was being used for, but the price difference wasn't much between a 75 and a 50 and a 25 and it's free shipping so so TNR Electric made this transformer has a 5600 volt AC primary in their world I use it as the secondary okay as a percentage selector switch that allowed them it allows you to match the voltage from the primary line on the street to the 240 secondary side in the world. So that still allows me, since we use it backwards, I feed it with 240, it allows me to raise or lower the secondary voltage in our world. This is number two service entrance wire, copper. It's getting disconnected. I already cut the ground connection. Center tap isn't used. I already took the tape off of it. The ground was connected to the can. So, have the service entrance wire coming through the tubing here. It was connected, electrical taped and gooped up, and the high voltage uh, wire I used, uh, for high voltage wire I used RG213U in the tubing. And the shields are stripped back inside in the amplifier and they're, they're connected to ground, uh, the, you know, the chassis of the amplifier. And it has the shields are stripped back in the silicone tubing and all the way back here and everything's all gooped up with pure silicone so when I go to reconnect it I'm actually going to tie these grounds together and also connect them to the case which will be connected to the ground that goes back to the panel so the cool thing about these are you know the transformers in the oil so it's you don't have to worry about moisture or anything it's designed to be outside this was only on, you know, it only had power applied to the primary when the amplifier was on. The had another fence panel surrounding it, nothing could get to it, fully safe, no no hazards or anything like that. Had a cover on top to stop anything from getting down into it. So a lot of people they they buy transformers nowadays and they just have a really high they have a high secondary resistance so the regulation sucks these have a really low secondary resistance so the regulations awesome you know you buy a conventional transformer you bring it down in the basement if you have any sort of moisture down there or if it's in or if it's an environment like a garage or something where it goes hot cold hot cold condensation builds up on the core gets into the windings the transformer can flash over time you don't have to worry about this because the, like I said the transformer is immersed in oil you never want to take a pole transformer out of the oil. You leave it in the oil. It's, it, like I said in the other video I did on pole transformers, not only cools the core, but paper's also, it's the type of paper that actually absorbs the oil. It absorbs it and it increases the dielectric property. So when that oil is no longer in the paper, it starts to, to absorb air. And if the enamel cracks on the wire and then the paper has water in it, then the transformer eventually flashes. So. Awesome transformer. It's great, you know, great idea. You know, then you don't have to lug a heavy transformer down to the basement. You just have the proper wiring. Make sure you do everything right, and you're good to go. Yeah, this uh, starting to get a little rust on it, and um, that's the li liquid electrical tape. You can see the 75. This has no PCBs in it. Has a vent, like a pressure pressure vent on the other side. So, yeah, I got it up off the concrete pad, and I poured that, so I, I go crazy with everything. It has a rebar in it and everything, and it's up off of it to, you know, keep, keep
keep it all you know out of the water you know so um, it rot underneath but, so that's about it and I'll have more videos to come I'm still organizing stuff and like I said this is getting disconnected so uh, I'm gonna have to move it off of there get rid of these posts but wanted to shoot a video before I had it fully disconnected well thanks for watching